This tutorial shows several quantum phenomena manifested in quantum Minesweeper. We begin with a classical measurement. The number indicates the average number of mines in adjacent cells. This non-integer number indicates superposition, a quantum phenomenon wherein a cell has a mine and not at the same time. As can be seen in the solution boards, two boards have a single adjacent mine with probability one-third while the other board does not have an adjacent mine, summing up to two-thirds. We next perform an interaction-free measurement. This quantum measurement both reduces the chance of losing by triggering a mine and enables the detection of a mine without triggering it, a purely quantum phenomenon. We perform interaction-free measurement and reveal a mine. The revealed mine is a classical one, since we can never reveal a quantum mine or superposition in the quantum world. Several things have happened because of this measurement. First, in the solution boards, the center board's probability reduced to zero, while the other board's probability have changed to one half. Notice that the center board does not have a mine in the measured cell. Since we detected the mine there, this board can no longer be true. In quantum mechanics, this is called the collapse of the wave function. Since the real quantum world described by their true boards and their probability has changed. It collapsed to the boards that correspond to the measured result, meaning a mine in the measured cell. or other boards cease to exist. The collapse of the wave function results in visible changes in the main board. The number of adjacent mines of the previously measured board cell has now changed. While previously it was two-thirds, it is now one. This means that the boards that vanished did not have an adjacent mine. Finally, since one of the boards no longer exists, we do not have to mark it. The number of user boards reduced to two, and we need to mark only the remaining two boards. By the interaction-free measurement, we have found one mine. The number that appears indicates that one board has an adjacent mine, while the other does not, as can be seen in the solution boards. This is again a quantum phenomenon. We know that yet unrevealed mine is adjacent to the first measured cell. We perform an entropy measurement to find out where it is. The measured cell has maximum entropy indicating that it is entangled with another cell, meaning in one board this cell is empty and another has a mine, while in the other board it is the opposite. Quantum entanglement means that the two cells have quantum correlation, measuring one affects the other. We mark the measured cell in the user boards. We have found the quantum half mine adjacent to the revealed classical mine. We know the other quantum half mine cannot be also adjacent to this cell, but it must be adjacent to this cell. Hence, it must be here. Marking it wins the game. 